So are you going to actually <laughs> what? address the concern that you have? What concern? No, I'm not going to. Why would I address that concern? <laughs> well, no, you wanted to make it something specifically clear, so. Fine. I didn't want Robin to think or you to think, but like really it's, let's. No, just don't, just. What? Why are you so weird? <laughs> I'm the weird one? <laughs> I'm trying to get Mary to tell Cody that her moving her business up there does not mean she's not still committed and he needs to know it. Just tell him what you, I'm you want to make sure. I'm not the one who has finalized anything. I don't have a problem saying it, but I think Cody's going to have a problem hearing it. Just, just. This does not mean I'm leaving the family or you. Mm. So it really is purely just a business thing. Okay, good on you, Mary. It actually has no effect on me. So Lizzie's is all about sort of this sort of fun heritage thing, mm -hmm. you know, the family heritage. And if you're living there and running the business from there, is there a need to have Lizzie's continue or is that more of just like something that's special? I, I'm just trying to understand. I'm going to say this and you're going to download it to your hard drive. This house is sentimental, and it doesn't matter what it is. It's I understand. Do not, you? <laughs> you keep talking business like. No, 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 no. Keeping the house was the important thing. Having the house was the important thing. Having the house and the family is the important thing. I've always known that, and I didn't agree with her buying it because it was just sentimental, but I'm glad she did it because it gave her a great experience with her mother's last years. So I'm not complaining about her b and I'm just questioning what she's doing. What are you doing, Mary? In my head, I'm really wondering why she lives in Flagstaff. I think oh. what it is that he is not getting. Well, just so you can say it. To him. <laughs> I can say it to him. Um, and hasn't since day one, is that I didn't buy this house for me to live in. And I didn't buy it for me to move out and to leave the family and to leave you and move up there. That's not why I bought it. That's never was my intention. And I'm not you, saying that's what you're saying. I know, but you've always kind of, like, it has felt to me that that's kind of what you've implied. I don't think that's what's going so, on. But why would she have a house, like, just sitting there empty if she's not going to try to No, that's business? not what I'm saying. Okay, I'm not saying, saying you don't live in the house, so you're misunderstanding me. Okay. okay. I'm saying move into the house. Use it more. She doesn't you know? want to move into it. That's the point. You're just being forced to move into it. She's not moving into it. You're running your business out of it. Yes, but she's not moving into it. I'm still getting a house here in Flagstaff. I'm going to get a smaller house, and I'm going to be living here. Oh, and sometimes people have two homes. Oh, guess what? So do polygamous men. They have multiple homes, and they live in both of them, usually. I'm living in one room while I stay there. It's still a business. I understand. I, maybe I don't understand. I mean, I am super confused. She's taking up a room that's supposed to be there to be let out. She's not moving into it, but her business is going to be there, both businesses. And the only reason she has space in Flagstaff is for a remote relationship with me and Robin. Cody's not sure why I would use one of the rooms that we would rent out, why does he care? I mean, he hasn't cared what room I sleep in for the last, you know, decade, so I don't know why he'd care now. But does he not remember <laughs> that there was this space that my mom stayed in, and she's clearly not using it anymore, so maybe I just use that same space? Listen, to be honest with you, I'm like gonna break it all down. Like, what do I want to do with it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to live there. I don't want it to be my house. I've said since yeah. the second we were kicked out of Utah, I don't want to live back in Utah. Mm. I don't want 
you to think that I'm walking away because, sorry, I still have hope, okay? At this point with a house, with a business, I have no idea what to do with it. And it causes me more anxiety than you have any idea. <sighs> I was really just kind of hoping that he would care a little bit more. There wasn't really anything specific that I wanted him to say or do. I just wanted him to have an air of caring and that just was not there. She just doesn't want it to be like her, she doesn't want to move there. It just wasn't ever my intention. It's not what I wanted. But like conversations like this basically just tell me, go ahead, Mary, and just live your life on your own like you've been doing because nothing else is going to change. What I'm seeing here is, is Robin being an advocate of me and Mary and our reconciliation in our marriage. And they're making me feel very uncomfortable. I got one wife that I've got a great relationship with, and I'm afraid if I abandon these women that she'll lose respect for me. Mary doesn't know what she wants, but she's asking me and telling me stuff. I'm just gonna throw out ideas. And the reason is, it's because she doesn't know what she wants. I don't know what she wants. And I've been guessing for 33 years what she wants. Guessing, because she never knows. Mary, do you have any ability to, like, do something crazy with Coyote Pass really fast, build a small house, build the casita like Janelle's talking about, just build Cody, something Cody, we fast. can't do that. From what I have understood you to say, we can't do anything until we build, until we divide the property. My point isn't to do it right now. I'm like, let's, let's get it paid for. And once we've got it paid for, we divide it and you build on it. Okay, I don't know if you know where Janelle's at. She's kind of moved this idea. She, we moved the trailer off. She didn't want to spend the winter there. Now she's yeah. got an apartment. I mean, yeah. so you wouldn't want to live out there in an RV while they're building your house or anything like that, would you, by chance? And I'm not pushing that. Oh, hell no. There's no way I'm going to go live in an RV. It was very hard living on Coyote Pass, even though it was beautiful in the RV. It sucked. But she had dogs. It's a different environment, uh, three and two dogs versus one, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Mary, why don't you do this, you know, because... And it, it'll be easier to live in an RV with just you, all alone, just one person. This is why I see hope, because Mary is still part of Cody's big picture. That's why he says things like, why don't you hurry and build a house out on the property? Because she's still a part of his future. I have an idea that might be really functional. I don't know. Do you guys want to hear it? Sure, go for it but it wouldn't be, I don't know if it's very functional. I know, I'm like. <laughs> no, I want, I want to build a barn dominium out there. I want a place to put my car that I don't drive except for in the summer. I want a place to put my stuff. Yeah, the barn dominium is basically a big giant garage or barn that has a loft apartment in it. You know, so it's like a condominium, but it's a barn. A metal building. Mm -hmm that goes up fast, lickety-split. And you can do whatever you want on the inside. Well, can you? you? Technically, I would get a permit for, I'd show them the design, I'd get a permit for the loft I'd put in it, and you could live in that loft. I mean, it'll have, you know, like a shower fridge, you know, like normal, like it'd be about this big. So basically, he just wants to put me out there with all the stuff, the extra stuff that he doesn't want to see, he doesn't want to deal with, he doesn't have room for, the cars, the storage, the Mary. I haven't figured out, I just had the idea because I'm tired of, we, we're just overwhelmed with stuff. Uh, Janelle moved into the RV and then Christine left and, and there was so much stuff that needed to go to storage, it's just overwhelming. You know, I, I get that he thinks that he's, like, amazing and gracious and brilliant. It's just insulting. You know what? It would just make more sense to just have a house that is just smaller. And also, I just don't really want to live long-term indefinitely in an RV. 
I don't think that that is something I would want. There, there are no good answers here, I don't think. Not in the view of where we're at. And I think part of the confusion is for me and Mary. Where are me and Mary at? I think the writing is on the wall. It's been obvious to me. When I try to go into that discussion with Mary, I get so much resistance. It's not really fair to either of us, but as long as she wants to live in this denial, I guess I can live in it with her. So I think you're making a good move. I'm not worried about you. I'm not like going, oh, you're leaving. No, don't, because I don't think you are. So don't worry. I went into this conversation just kind of knowing that he wasn't really going to give a flying rat's ass. And so, yeah, he's saying that he's not concerned about me leaving because he's not concerned at all about anything about me. Well. All right, well, thanks for letting me know. Yep. She can really be in this, like, dark place, and she'll go, well, like, why am I trying? I said, Mary, if you don't want to try anymore, then, like, I, I want you to be happy. And if this is, like, you don't want to do this anymore and you don't see that there's any hope, then, like, I start, I went, I don't want to be selfish and keep you here. And she said, don't ever say that to me again. And she says, I need you to always tell me there's hope. She says, I need you to always be fighting for our relationship because there's days when I am too weak to continue to fight. I need someone else to fight. And I said, okay. I wish that he saw some value in me. And he doesn't. He wants to put me in the loft of his freaking barn dominium. You know? <laughs>